Sometimes, a snake bite can be a serious and even life-threatening injury. If you look at the statistics, you might be terrified. An estimated 2 million people around the world are bitten by snakes annually, resulting in an estimated 100,000 deaths. It is the second leading cause of death by animal after mosquitoes. For comparison, deaths caused by sharks account for 10 deaths a year. So, it's not as often as you think it is. Lions are responsible for 250 deaths per year. Both elephants and hippopotamuses have the same rate of causing death, which is 500 lives every year. It is hard to believe, but dogs kill 30,000 people each year. With all of those statistics, that makes snakes one of the deadliest animals. Fortunately, we've gathered some information to help you prepare in case a snake bite occurs nearby. The do's and don'ts. Let's watch. And remember to give this video a thumbs up. Snakes can be found in many parts of the world, both venomous and non-venomous. However, most of them are not dangerous. They only bite when threatened or seeking animals to prey on. Most of the problems occur due to accidental encounters or someone trying to catch a snake, which are avoidable by taking some preventive measures. Nevertheless, accidents just happen sometimes. Snake bites should always be taken seriously. Though some snakes have non-venomous or dry bites, which aren't as dangerous and will likely cause some swelling, a bite from a harmless one can cause infection and an allergic reaction in some people. While venomous bites, if not treated carefully and quickly, can result in death. Always seek medical attention or call an emergency medical service if you've been bitten by a snake, as it could be a matter of life and death. The first aid for snake bites primarily involves seeking immediate medical attention. In addition, identifying the snake can help how the medical team treats you. Time is of the essence when it comes to snake bites. Antivenom, or antivenin, is the treatment for serious snake envenomation. The sooner antivenin is initiated, the sooner irreversible damage from venom can be avoided. It is not recommended that people with snake bites drive themselves to the hospital because they may become dizzy or pass out. It is better to ask someone else to help, although symptoms may vary from person to person. They may include swelling, redness and pain around the bite area, low blood pressure, a faster heart rate, dizziness, and blurred vision, nausea, vomiting, sweating, breathing difficulty, muscle twitching, and numbness are around the limbs. Try to identify the snake that bit the person. This can help medical professionals determine the type of venom and provide appropriate treatment. Pay attention to the snake's color, shape, and size. If possible, take a picture of the snake from a safe distance or remember its distinct markings. However, don't try to catch it or bring it to the hospital. You don't want to risk being bitten too. Just leave it and keep a distance twice the size of the snake's body or more. By identifying a snake, you can identify what kind of venom it has. For example, elephant snakes probably have neurotoxic venom, which affects the nervous system, such as in the king cobra, sea snakes, and coral snakes. Or cytotoxic venom, which is flesh-eating or digesting venom that breaks down tissues, organs, and muscles, such as in the black mamba and cobras too. While vipers mostly have hematoxic venom that attacks and kills red blood cells, it can also be found in rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, and copperheads. If, for some reason, you don't get a chance to identify them, don't worry. Other methods to identify such venoms would be available too in the nearest hospital in that area. In general, venomous snakes have two fangs that puncture your skin, while non-venomous snakes have bite marks that look like little U-shapes. You can ask some local people or experts in that area about the kinds of snakes to get more information too. It is important to keep the person still until help arrives. The venom from a snake bite can spread quickly through the body if the person moves too much, so it is important to keep the person calm and still. Remove any tight clothing, jewelry, or watches around the area of the bite, as they can constrict blood flow and make swelling worse or make the venom concentrate too long in one place. Likewise, do not use a tourniquet for a similar reason. Cleanse the wound area to minimize bacterial infection. Wrap the wound with a bandage. If the snake bite is on a hand or a leg, keep the affected limb immobilized and at or slightly below the level of the heart. The idea is to help slow down the spread of venom and reduce the severity of symptoms. This can be done by splitting the limb or using a bandage to wrap it without putting too much pressure on the limb. If you can identify it as an elephant with neurotoxin venom, which usually has smaller fangs than a viper, then a pressure bandage should be applied generously for the whole limb. This helps to slow the spread of venom and reduce the severity of symptoms. If you are truly alone on the trails with no cell phone service, walk slowly or have someone assist you so that you do not move quickly. Start walking to the nearest place where you can get help. Don't try to suck the venom out as they do in movies or cut the wound. This can make the situation worse and increase the risk of infection. You don't want someone else to accidentally drink the venom too. Avoid using ice or electric shock. They are proven to be ineffective. Do not eat or drink, especially anything that contains alcohol or caffeine, as they may need to undergo medical procedures. Lastly, don't take any pain-relieving medications such as ibuprofen. Although, some may say it is fine to take acetaminophen, 
Tylenol, it is best to keep the person free from any medication. To ensure your safety, treat all snake bites as if they were venomous and get to a hospital emergency room as soon as possible. This is especially true if you don't know what kind of snake bit you. With the right treatment, you could avoid serious illness or death. It is important to know the signs and symptoms of different types of venom and to take appropriate first aid measures. Remember to stay calm, immobilize the affected limb, and seek immediate medical attention. We hope you will never have to deal with a snake bite accident. Now you know what to do if someone gets bitten by a snake, especially a venomous one. Share this video with your friends, and make sure they stay safe. Of course, we appreciate your like for this video. The more likes this video gets, the more people will watch it. Perhaps it will save someone's life.